I'm going to show you the three new features in Flinto version 28. A state change gesture, haptic feedback, and a scrubbable ruler. The state change gesture allows you to trigger a link based on the state of a behavior. So I have this behavior which creates a loading bar, and I'd like a link to be triggered by that loading bar getting to the end. So I can create a link from the layers that have that behavior applied, set it as a backlink, and choose the state change gesture. Then I can choose which state I'd like to target, and now whenever that behavior animates into that state, the link will be triggered. You can use this anytime you'd like a link to be triggered based on the state of a behavior. Next, I'll show you the new haptic feature. Clicking the haptic icon in this gesture will allow me to choose from a list of different styles and strengths of haptic feedback. When previewing this prototype on an iOS device that supports haptic feedback, I'll feel the haptics as I tap the link or activate the link. This works on any type of link, regardless of the gesture. And the last feature I'd like to show you is the new scrubbable ruler. If you ever use the label underneath a text field to adjust the value, you may hit the edge of the screen and be unable to adjust it to the number that you'd like. So we fixed that, allowing your cursor to go beyond the edge of the screen, but you lose track of your cursor and you can't see it. So we added the scrubbable ruler to give you that feedback. And for ranges that have a fixed start and end, like opacity, which goes from zero to 100, when you go past the end of the range, you get this nice pull effect for a bit of a physical feel to this ruler. I think you'll enjoy this bit of polish and our other two features, state change gesture and haptic feedback. You can go to flinto.com to download the free trial, or if you're a Flinto user already, do check for updates to download Flinto version 28.